Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Collective punishment is defined as a punishment or sanction imposed on a group for acts allegedly perpetrated by a member of that group. Collective punishment was banned after World War II because of its use by the German National Socialists. The German Socialists used an alleged act of violence by a Jew in Paris as an excuse to disarm all of the Jews in Berlin. And the following day, the Holocaust started. The German socialists understood that it was much easier to load unarmed people into boxcars. Now let's fast forward to the summer of 2020. Black Lives Matter protesters used an act of violence by a white person as an excuse to punish the entire community of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Because of the act of one person, Black Lives Matter protesters damaged more than 100 buildings and destroyed at least 40. The victims of these crimes had nothing to do with what Black Lives Matter said they were protesting. This was collective punishment. But the press fiercely defended the rioters burning the city down, calling it a mostly peaceful protest. And they said most of the protesters were peaceful and shouldn't be subjected to collective punishment. But for some reason the press wasn't upset about the collective punishment against the residents of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Now let's look at how the press treats conservative protesters. Twitter and the press are bragging that actor Jay Johnston has been banned from Bob's Burgers because he was allegedly spotted at the January 6th protest. This is a very obvious case of collective punishment and the press is backing it. He hasn't been accused of any crime and there isn't any official report that he was even there. And instead of calling it a mostly peaceful protest, the press calls it a riot and an insurrection. The bottom line is that the press and the left have no moral or ethical boundaries. They twist words and use doublespeak as a means to obtain power. The press manipulated words to justify the collective punishment of Kenosha. And the press twists words in the other direction to deny conservatives their constitutional right to free speech. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on the organized crime mob known as the press for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Curie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.